You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there is an ostracism vote, but didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? Anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange them with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does. And he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. I should be extra careful in this area.
I'm going to see if they're still alive. Cover me! Should do it. I should let Pericles' contact know. Quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. The votes have been tallied. Overwhelmingly, the people have decided that Anaxagoras should be ostracized from Athens. to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course. Yet, Anaxagoras seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are, and every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? I know the price of actions. I have to as a mercenary. That simple piece of information tells me more about you than your name ever could. Explaining oneself must be carefully done. Explaining myself would take more time than I have. Then let us focus on a single recent event. Tell me, as a mercenary, is there anything you wouldn't do? Everything has a price. And you're the one who decides when the pay is worth it. I don't have the luxury of turning down a job. What of duty, the greater good? Are they not their own kind of payment? No, they're not. It seems you know yourself well. But no, it is better to change one's thoughts than to persist in those that are wrong. My thoughts are fine. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be, when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I think you have the wrong person. You are claiming that you're the wrong person? 
Life's one true happiness is knowing yourself. Even if I did know who rigged the ostracism vote, I wouldn't tell you. And yet, I never said anyone rigged anything. Socrates, there you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. That's everything Pericles wanted. Time to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother. I heard in all those times. Time for a ride. They won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. It's you! Phoebe! You promised we'd see each other again, and now we have! I also said stay out of trouble. Which I have! Okay, almost out of trouble. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe... I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So, you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but... You forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry. I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. Well... How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't. Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things. Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. Fine. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. 
If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Here, Alexios. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made his grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotos. Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. <laughs> it looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Hermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades. <clears throat> uh, let's not use Alcibiades as an example. So, tell me. What does a mystios like you think of a party like this? This is going to be a long night. Parties should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Herodotos. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your sister said. You're leaving me alone with these people? Ha! <laughs> You'll do fine without me, I promise. Just relax, talk to the others, and focus on finding your mother.
I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every Pedis. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that'll help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. So, we get him drunk, and he talks. He sounds more Argive than Athenian. Impressive, foreigner. Evripides is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when Evripides is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every Pedis, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over every Pedis. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every Pedis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with that banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Say for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. A new face in Pericles' abode! Ha! That is... Did you just call me? It speaks! And so feisty, too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. Alexios. Hmm. I wouldn't peg you as an Alexios. But never mind. I'm Aristophanes. And this man is... Oh, go on! Introduce yourself. I'm every Pivis. For a playwright, you're not... Good men lead quiet lives, as old every P this like... When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you... Quickly! Bring him some wine so that... After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather... <laughs> I'm Pericles' new servant. An Athenian servant. You. I was a rower on Pericles' ship. Where... I, I wasn't questioning, I... I'm only here because I'm searching for... And yet it gave us the... Let's conjure the honest... This... This amateur... In my day, this would be considered... Ready for more? Yeah! I can hardly... I could outdrink both of you with one... You ready for another? Yeah. You, I like you. I brought myself. I'm on the trail of... Fled? What? She lost two children. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every bit. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divorce. After what she went through, I'm not sure. Uh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to... I love getting drunk and singing. 
Come back if you... I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. How's every pity? You can stop hiding in here. Hiding? He... If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you. Sometimes be I only came to this sounds like we can help each other then doesn't it she's not I think I'll check all the you have enough sir Shay. I was just I <gasps> where's now it's time for all business. Focus. Fled. Spart. The smart. Pietera. Oh no. Ali! Ooh. When you. Anthusa in Corinth. I'm surprised to see you here, but everything has a price, as you said. I can't help but wonder what price you paid to gain entry to the symposium. Keep wondering. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? <laughs> if you've been arguing this long and you haven't agreed yet, just give up. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasymachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not yet. Medicine is for the better... Don't be absurd! I've seen enough... ...is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby... ...ruling a city and fighting in battle are different... ...by practicing the art of war. Doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops of... You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men. What are you trying to say? I never try to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Alexios can help. Everyone listens when he talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Alexios will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, now. To convince someone in this house, even your eyes must tell a lie. Fine, it was me. 
But my actions were personal, not political. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. I'd be more comfortable in these clothes if I had a blade in my hand. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirini, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Arvos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. <laughs> I've got the light! Oh, shit! God's cursed fire! Out! Alexios! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Why send Metiochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erodos was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future.
The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to him, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm related to one of the cult members, and I believe her when she says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? <laughs> there is a physician in Argolis that may be able to help me. You're sick? You've never been sick. No, no, I'm fine. I just need to talk to him. Okay, good. It would be weird if you were sick. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this... Plague even happened, okay? Okay, thanks. I knew I could count on you. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Alexios! <laughs> 